So today I'm going to try something that is actually not recommended. It'll be the first time I've tried this. I've heard about it from many other people. And I'm going to try canning milk. Um, first thing, I have sterilized the jar in, in the oven for 30 minutes at 275 degrees. Allowed them to cool. And now I'm adding cold milk to the jars. I'm only going to do a small amount because this is an experiment for me. I don't know how it'll turn out. And if they turn out fine, I may use this milk for making yogurt. It is three, three and a quarter percent milk. And I think I might get six or seven jars and that might be all I want. That will be plenty to experiment with and to determine whether or not I like the end result. Okay, so there's three. Now this does have to be pressure canned, and uh, there are a number of ways of doing it. Apparently taking it up to um, the pressure and then turning it off immediately, or pressure cooking for anywhere up to 15 minutes depending on how caramelized. You would like the milk. Okay, I think that I will just complete one more jar here. I'll have to open another bag, but that's fine. Good, I think that will do. Okay, get back to you in a few minutes. <clears throat> okay, so now we'll clean the rims. I don't think anything fell on them, but we'll clean them anyway. and put our lids on. This is definitely an experiment for me. I have never canned milk in the past. I understand that it will probably have uh, the same flavor as condensed milk. But we'll have to see. Don't know. Canning sometimes does change the flavor of your food. Okay. So starting off with a cold canner. The milk is cold, the canner should be cold, the water in the canner is cold, so that we don't have any breakage issues from heat. vinegar to my water to keep my jars clean. And 
then because everything is cold, I can put it all in by hand. So we have six pint jars. Turn on the heat. Check and make sure that I have clear. Yes, I do. Um, yeah, you have to check and make sure that you can see air in that little pinhole there. And now we'll wait for this to come up to temperature and have a full strong steam for 10 minutes. We'll get back to you later. Okay, so it's starting to vent now. That took a, quite a bit longer to get up to temperature, but then we're starting off with everything cold. Okay, so now we're going to let this vent for a good 10 minutes. And we'll get back to you after it's completed venting. venting for 10 minutes. Now we turn the timer off and put our weight on. And I have, I want to reiterate that this is not a recommended procedure. Canning milk is not recommended. Uh, I'm doing this as an experiment. Perhaps I'll use this milk to make yogurt. I may try that in the future when this is ready. Um, Anyway, you have to decide for yourself whether or not this is not a how-to video. This is not instructions on, on what to do or how to do it. I've done my research and I'm um, experimenting. So there are a number of um, methods. One is to get it up to 10, 11 pounds pressure and then turn it off. Another one is once you get it up to your 10, 11 pounds pressure, you uh, pressure cook for anywhere between 5 and 15 minutes. I think this time I'm going to just do the turn it off uh, at once it reaches 10 pounds. So I'm going to keep my eye on it here. And uh, it's starting to move already. And uh, apparently the milk is supposed to taste a little bit better if it's not... Uh, pressure cooked for any length of time. We'll see. As I said, this is an experiment and I may try doing it the other way the next time around. So we'll get back to you once it reaches 10 pounds. Okay, so I have reached my 10 pounds of pressure and I'm going to turn the stove off. And we just let this come back down to zero pressure before we open it up. Uh, by the way, I have been enjoying my apple apple slices, my dried apple slices. And that's the problem with me making a lot of these. I could sit there and eat them all day long. Anyway, back to my milk. Uh, all we have to do now is wait until the canner comes down to pressure, down to zero, and uh, then we'll open it up and take the milk out. 